Good morning everyone, it's uh, Brett here, that's Lionheart84, your UK exotic fruit growing enthusiast. Um, actually I'm going to probably change the name soon and edit it down a bit because it is a bit of a mouthful for people and they're not going to remember who I am anyway, but it uh, doesn't matter for the time being anyway. My actual name's Brett, it's the 11th of August and it's the day after we had some serious storms here. Um, we had a very, very high winds yesterday, quite unusual for the middle of August and uh, I need to do some remedial work today on my standard fig tree. The ones in the containers are all fine, um, but this one here, when I got home from work yesterday, was virtually bending over to the ground in the wind, it was so windy, because the problem with figs is obviously you've got all this large leaf area of particularly large figs. Uh, fig leaves um, and they act like a sail in the wind and this one it's been in for two years now I mean it was only two feet tall when I planted it and you can see it's uh, it's a good sort of eight feet tall now and it's got the form I wanted I wanted this one to grow as a standard so that um, the uh, the leaves and branches didn't overcrowd the plants underneath and I could uh, sort of get the figs up when I got figs to a reasonable height. Uh, the downside of this is it's made the tree a bit top heavy. Um, it only had a bamboo cane supporting it when I put it in and that as you can see even now rocking in the wind is nowhere near enough. Now what this stem believe it or not before yesterday I think you can just about see it this stem was completely straight it went up in a straight line from the ground and it's now coming out of the ground at an angle and it's got a curve on it like a banana. Now it's quite likely that the roots have been, I would say that the roots have been uh, loosened on the base because of the angle it's leaning at and clearly there's a risk of it falling right over um, or snapping the main stem which would be an absolute disaster since I've been growing it for two years. So I've decided, I've been and bought a couple of large tree stakes today so I've decided to put a couple of tree stakes in to strengthen it and then obviously in the next couple of years hopefully as the stem gets wider it will become self-supporting. Um, now it's not good practice to put tree stakes in after a tree's been in the ground for some time because obviously when I'm going to I'm going to have to hammer it into the ground close to the stem I'm going to damage some of the uh, probably damage some of the roots but to be honest figs are pretty tough and I don't think the roots are going to suffer too badly and I think it'll recover especially as we'll be coming into the dormant season soon yeah look you can see how it's rocking even now and that's despite the fact that I've um, I've actually strapped it to the deck rail to stop it being blown right over but I've decided that a few damaged roots is probably a lesser evil than the tree getting snapped in half or completely broken off at the base which could take it a long time to recover as I said this the winds today are hardly probably only about 15 miles an hour but there were gusts of 50 or 60 miles an hour yesterday this literally when I came home was almost bending over onto the ground so in a short while I shall um, knock one or two stakes in and we'll see how that goes and then I'll, uh, I'll follow up I'll carry on with the video uh, at that point okay so what I've done is I bought about a six foot tree stake there's, uh, there's one of them there I'm going to put two in actually um, and I've hammered that about two feet into the ground reasonably close to the stem of the tree and obviously what I'm planning to do is once I've pulled the other uh, once I've taken these straps off I'm going to use those to hopefully attach this to the cane now it seems to be quite solid but I've decided I'm going to put one on the other side as well and hold the two together now I didn't set up the camera to try and show me hammering the uh, <laughs> hammering the stakes in because uh, to be honest it's still pretty windy and I'm guessing I'm gonna guess that as it's a reasonably large size tablet on a tripod I think the wind would catch it and blow over and probably break it so decided to be on the safe side you can still see if I didn't have those tree straps on just what that would fig would be doing so that's the first stake in so what I'm going to do is um, knock the second one in and then see about uh, strapping it in place I'll catch up with you in a few minutes again Okay, so here's a continuation. I'll pause the video. I've now put in T 
two stakes and a third bamboo cane and I'm still not sure that's going to be enough both stakes are knocked in two feet probably the bamboo canes in about a feet about a foot and I've put ties plastic tree ties on both canes and I'm also using the bamboo one to sport it but I'm still not convinced oh the worst case scenario is if if the stem does snap off somewhere even at the base it's going to come back from suckers and I might better take cuttings off the uh, top this one incidentally is a rouge to Bordeaux but at least I've got a little bit more straight now as I said we'll have to oh it's me knocking over the hammer um, Anyway, we're going to see what happens. I mean, once the leaves come off and it's dormant, it's no problem because the wind doesn't catch the bare branches. The problem is these leaves just really catch the wind badly. So, uh, and we wouldn't normally have winds this high in August. I really wouldn't be expecting them until late September, October, and obviously in winter we get a lot more. So I'm hoping that's going to do the job and we're not going to get snapped stems and uh, possibly snapped stakes. I might have to get a third one to put at the back and set up a... Uh, like a like a tripod of uh, stakes possibly but I won't worry about that yet I'll see how it goes in the next week or so but that's my repair job on the fig for today so um, next task will be uh, to cut the grass which I shall do in a short while anyway thanks for watching you're welcome to like um, share the video if you want subscribe to my channel if you want and haven't done already um, and obviously hit the bell if you'd like future notifications to find out if Fig snaps off in the future when we get some more heavy ones. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's been a town. Now, catch you in the next video.